Hi, my name is Jim. I'm here to show you how to replace a power cord on a floor lamp. The customer complaint was that when it was plugged in with the light on, the, the, the plug was getting warm. So that means that there's a poor connection there. And in addition to that, it's an older style plug and you see how I plug it in this way? You can also plug it in, you flip this around, you can also plug it in that way. It's actually, it's dangerous that way to operate it. So uh, we're gonna sort of kill two birds with one stone here and replace the cord. So take care of that heating problem, plus have this thing so it's safe and okay to operate. So here's what we're gonna start doing here. Let me get this out of the way. And uh, put the patient up on the table here. All right, and then uh, unscrew this thing very gingerly. Sometimes you got to play smooth to figure out how to take these apart. Um, this one's actually pretty easy to unscrew. Oh, by the way, you can get these these uh, these cords at any hardware store. There, okay. There's a couple of screws that holds that hold that on, so we gotta take those off to actually get at the conductors, the wires per se. So there's actually four, one, two, three, four screws here. Two of them are recessed. We we'll take the recessed ones out. So those are the ones that look like they go through the bottom. Now, if you people don't feel comfortable taking the stuff apart, and always take a like a magic marker or take a picture of stuff and go do one of these things, you know. So you know how you know how it took apart, put it back together that way. Now the tricky part is to what we want to do is we want to cut this cord and we're gonna feed the new cord through this by using pulling on the old one. And if, if, if it doesn't work out for you, it's not the end of the world. Um, that uh, you should be able to, without too much difficulty, push it through or get the like clothes hanger or something to uh, help you guide it through. Okay, so cut this guy off. Trim these wires. I want to cut some insulation off this wire because it we um, because of the size of the hole it's going to go through that we don't want it hanging up part way. So the smaller the diameter of the two sets of wires, the better. Okay. And this one, we're just going to trim this off a little bit. Okay. And I got this one. This is the one I'm going to use for pulling. Hopefully this works out okay. And we're going to twist these around. Loop like that, loop like that. And I'll put a little bit of electrical tape on it. Like that. So you got nice, nice and smooth, and you pull it through. I think we're gonna be lucky. There we go. Take the uh, tape off. So let me cut this back a little bit. Okay, twist, give it a twist to the left. Use my screwdriver to assist a little bit. And preferably, I like to have it go all the way around that screw. Okay. And then tighten her down. Make sure there's no frayed, frayed wires or loose wires on there. All right, now this wire right here, it's ribbed. It could be ribbed, it could have numbers or labels on it. Uh, it could be silver. That's gonna indicate your, your common side. And your common side is gonna go to the silver uh, screw on your socket, okay? And then the, the, the black one or the gold is gonna be your hot wire. So I got the common wire screwed to the silver one. And now I'm gonna take loosen this other one up, 
wrap the wrap the wire around it. So make sure nice and tight. And then I'm gonna put this back on. Make sure the holes line up with where you took those screws, took that base part off. So like that, like that. And then flip it over. Snuck up the screws. And then, okay, so that's all complete. Now you got to sort of pull this through, get that wire taut. There we go. I'm gonna set this lamp down. So I got gravity helping me out here. There we go. All right, put the uh, knob in there. Okay, we got everything back together. We have a new cord on here. Uh, the, the plug, it only goes one way, so we've got created, you know, it's much more safer than it was before. Let's put the light bulb in. Plug it in, and there you go. It's something you could person could easily do. It's just a little perseverance, uh, and uh, you give yourself a pat on the back for keeping something out of landfill and, and saving yourself some money on top of it all. You can learn more about fixing everyday items by visiting these websites.